So when it comes to Trump, do you dislike his policies or him as a person or both? I don't I don't dislike Trump as a person in the sense that I've never met the guy. So I think he has a lot of personality traits that make him completely unsuited to being president. And also, I think his policy prescriptions to the extent that they exist and he understands them which is a different part of it. A lot of the stuff Trump talk, talks about, he still doesn't know how tariffs work. Mm. We're eight years into this thing, nine years in. He still thinks China pays the tariffs when they're paid by American Yeah, I've companies. seen him talk about tariffs. Very confused, very confused guy. Um, Wait, so, so China's not paying tariffs right now? Chi- the, the tariffs are paid by the American companies that import the Chinese goods. That's the way, it, it's, it's such a fundamental, and I see you looking a little confused yeah, on this I'm one. Yeah, I'm confused. This is the way tariffs work. What Trump did is place tariffs on Chinese imports. By the time the imports get here, China's been paid for the stuff. Maybe they get net 120 terms, right? But in a, in a sense, China has already transacted. The American company who brings the goods in pays the tariffs. Really? This is, You're kidding right now. No, I thought he said he was raising the tariffs by 50 to 100% for Chinese imports. Fort, you gotta clip this. I'm begging you, you gotta clip this and send I it mean, to no, me. I mean, no, I'm begging. genuinely None confused. of this stuff is getting cut out, right? No, no. Oh my God. We post everything. Please. The tariffs are paid by the company that does the importing. So if you want to okay. build a building in the U.S. and you import Chinese steel, you pay China for the steel, you pay the U.S. government the tariff. The, th- this is why it's inflationary. Economists have looked at tr- uh, Trump's tariff proposal and said it would make stuff more expensive for Americans mm. by adding the cost of the tariffs to the total cost of production. So that's the way tariffs work. A lot of people don't seem to know how tariffs work, which is sad because – this is how people end up getting sucked into Trump's vortex. He says something that sounds good. I'm going to punish China with tariffs. Yeah. In this case, you, you I, that sounds good. You know, Chinese tariffs. They're paid by the American companies. Wow. That's why it's so damaging. That's crazy. Yeah. Send, yeah, me, had, this, send me this part of the no, conversation. No, I will. I, I, I genuinely this. had no idea. I thought yeah. China was paying those. Yep. No, no. China's not paying them. Yeah. The I Ameri- thought they were, though. They weren't, they're not. Yeah. So why would he do that? I'm confused. You'd have to ask him. <laughs> Yes, you need to ask Donald Trump. (laughs) Are you going to get an answer from Donald Trump about tariffs? Of course not. And see, this is part of the problem. And we're hearing it from the likes of Nigel Farage. We're hearing it from the Tories in Britain. They spin something that sounds like it's a good idea. We're going to punish China by imposing tariffs. Now, the idea of a tariff is to protect a domestic industry. Tariffs are not necessarily a bad thing. They're there to protect a domestic industry. So, for example, when it comes to steel... You put a tariff on Chinese steel, it makes Chinese steel more expensive with the idea that American companies, in the case of America, would rely more on American steel. But if Chinese steel is still cheaper after the tariff, then American companies will still import, will rely on those imports. But also, as David pointed out, this adds to inflation because this is a cost a business has to pay and this cost will be passed on to the consumer. So the US government gets the money from the tariff, but the cost that the business pays as a result of that tariff is passed on to the final consumer. So it adds to inflation. So when Donald Trump talks about, I'm going to punish China by imposing tariffs, in a sense, he's, it is punishing China because it's making the imports more expensive. But if those imports arrive anyway, the American company will pass on that cost to the consumer, to the end user. Now, the fundamental problem from this clip is the guy who seems to be a, a Donald Trump supporter, I can't be sure, but he seems to be a Donald Trump supporter, doesn't know this. And he was following t- Trump's lead when Trump, well, Trump said tariffs are going to be a punishment for China, the one that he must be telling the truth, because I don't understand how tariffs work. Instead of actually going out, if you don't understand something, listen to experts, don't listen to politicians. Politicians are not interested in telling educated. the truth. They're not interested. We won with poorly educated. I love the poorly educated. We're the smartest people. We're the most loyal people. And you know.